Hey guys, this is Chris. I am going to be showing you my knife collection today. This is one of my Moxie Oaks. I got this and my other one for twenty dollars at I think by Mart. Comes with a nice little sheath. And this is the other one. And for both of them it was twenty dollars. I really like that deal. This one's really nice for like whittling and other stuff like that. But this is definitely way better for skinning. It has the little notch and everything. Obviously, it's a skinning knife. These are my throwing knives. They're really lightweight. I'd like to get some heavier ones. But, uh, they work for just messing around. I lost one of them while I was throwing. It got stuck in the... Lost in the... Grass. This is my multi-tool. It is different than most. It slides out and locks instead of, like, folding out like that. And all of the little things on it lock. So you have to push down on that and push them over. And this is really nice. My uncle got it for me for my birthday. It was actually the only present I got because I would rather have like money so I can save up and get all sorts of stuff. This is the pocket knife I use to carry. It is a Gerber uh, spring activated. It has the edge and the straight blade. I sharpened it so it's it has a decent edge on it. The release is that button and it lets it down put it the rest of the way. Uh, this is a buck that my dad's friend bought me and he bought my brother a knife too and also my dad like this really expensive headset for like hunting. It's earmuffs but it has a built in like sensor that picks up a lot of extra sound but when like a gunshot goes off it make it works as regular earmuffs. This is a different Gerber. It's like a mini one of the other one I just showed you. It's nice. I mean, sharp, decent. No, that's dull as crap. But it would still work if you just sharpened it up a little. This is what I used to carry in my tackle box. It's a little multi-tool. It like spins out like that instead of folding the other way like that. It still has some fish blood on it. Yeah, this, I carried this in my tackle box. I don't know why I don't have it in there right now. I have a Sheffield um, razor that is for, I have a roofing tip on it right now for the tar paper. Because a summer ago or two, I was working on the roof with my dad. And my grandpa gave me this little multi-tool. I just hold on to it because, you know, my grandpa gave it to me. It's pretty dull. It could use some sharpening up, but it's still a cool little thing, gadget, whatever. This is my longest knife. It is a chef, wait, charade, uh... One foot long in all knife. It's fairly sharp. It needs a bit. It needs to have a tune up. It has the grip right here for whittling. And it it's so long. So you could like hit it into wood. And use another log to get it through to chop wood if you had to. It comes with a pretty good button. And, uh, in the little sheath, it has a little sharpening stone for, like, getting a field edge on it, not anything fancy. And a, uh, magnesium rod and striker. And in case you need to start a fire when you're out. And this is what I carry on me now. It isn't spring activated, it's just a nice little... Lightweight, really nice and sharp little thing. I just learned to whip it out. 
it has that for release. Just push it with your thumb, and it'll fall down. And that is all my knives that I know where they are. A few are lost around the house. I have a nice little, uh, like, sheath knife. It's, like, about this long. Not too long. Well, that long. It has a nice little handle. It has, like, bear paws on it and stuff. It's nice. My mom and dad got it for me while they went out on a date one night. Sometimes they go out barely ever, though. And, yeah, that's most of my knives. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more.